sponsoring this video and I'll give you guys a little bit more details at the end of the video. So today we're on for another 10 minutes low ab workout because many of you have requested one to target the belly area right here and I've also read some of your comments that sometimes you're lazy to get out of bed to get motivation to work out so this lower ab workout will actually be on the bed so no excuses you can do it after you wake up or before you sleep and it's actually more difficult because the bed is soft but obviously if you want to do this workout the usual way on the floor on the mat is still fine but I would challenge you to try this out and you don't need a big bed like this one it's just so it happens that we're in a hotel to celebrate Chad's birthday but normally at home when I do this workout I also sleep on a single bed and I can do it no problem so I hope you enjoy this workout together with me and if you're ready let's go Wakey wakey guys, I know we're in bed, we're feeling maybe a little bit lazy and sleepy but we're committed to getting this workout done and working on our lower belly area so let's make it count. First exercise is leg extension. Sitting up with elbows behind you, forearms on the bed supporting your upper torso up. Exercise. Bend both knees in towards your chest. Then tighten your lower abs as you extend both legs together to the front, keeping them a few inches off the bed. Work your abs to pull your knees back into your chest. Repeat for 45 seconds. We're not dropping our legs down until the timer is up. Focus on using the lower abs muscle and crunching them up for every rep here. You should be starting to feel a burn there. Keep going, the burn means we're doing it right. Good work! Let's move on to leg raises, the classic lower abs exercise to keep the burn going. Hands below your bum, legs off the floor, working your lower abs. Exercise. Lift both legs up together perpendicular to the bed, then lower them back down while keeping them a few inches off the bed. Repeat this for 45 seconds. Again, remember to engage your lower ab muscles so your back is flat on the bed leaving no space in between. Because the bed is soft, it will actually make it even harder than your usual one on the floor. But we can do it. Challenge yourself. No dropping, no stopping. Almost there. Another one done. Third exercise is wide U. This is a new lower ab exercise that I recently loved and thought I'll introduce to you guys as well. It's so fun and the burn is real. Exercise. Same starting position as the first exercise. Elbows behind you with upper torso up. Crunch the lower abs to lift your legs towards one side into the air. Here we are drawing a wide U from side to side. This is so hard but we're working not just the lower abs but also the side of our abs, our obliques. Oh. The burn in our belly area is so intense I know. Let's learn to enjoy the burn guys, it means we're closer to our goals. Remember no pain no gain. Let's push it, we're stronger than we think. We can do this. did it so good job next one is a little break hands and toes touch exercise lie on the bed arms and legs straight out then crunch your abs as you raise one leg up to 90 degrees while lifting the opposite arm to touch your food alternate between sides for 45 seconds Again, the key here is to be mindful using the right muscles, so visualize in your head that you're crunching the lower ab muscles to lift your leg for every single rep. 25 seconds. Keep breathing, we're almost halfway done. We're 
already on to the fifth exercise, leg extension to the side. This is just like the first exercise, but this time we'll work not just the front part of the lower abs, but also the side to rotate our hips and extend our legs to each side. Exercise. Alternating for 45 seconds. We want the flat belly, we want the small waist, so no complaining, no slacking. We gotta put in the work. Let's get this done. Ten seconds. We're halfway through. Six is leg lift in four strokes. Some of you might have done this with me before in my other workouts. It's not easy, but it's always the best lower abs burn. So let's get to work. Exercise. Hands below the bum, working the lower abs to extend your legs straight in front of you both off the bed. Then crunch the abs to lift one leg up pointing to the sky so that it is 90 degrees to the floor. Hold it up there while you lift your other leg up so that both legs are together pointing up. Then lower one leg down, followed by the other. Remember not to let any of them drop to the bed. Always keep them a few inches lifted by engaging your lower abs the whole time. Keep pushing, I know you want to drop your legs, trust me, I really want to as well, but I'm not dropping. I'm challenging myself to keep working my abs and getting the max burn until 45 seconds is up. Do it together with me, I know you can. Rest. That burns, but we're not done yet. Rest a bit and let's move on to our seventh exercise, leg drop. Same starting position, raise both legs to a seating so that they're perpendicular to the bed. Exercise. Tighten your abs, then slowly lower one leg until it is only a few inches away from the bed. Then raise it back and lower the other leg. Alternate between sides for 45 seconds. I know I keep repeating this, but remember to use your lower ab muscles as much as possible for the movement so we're targeting the right area. Work it. This is not as intense as the other ones, so enjoy the break. When you're heading down, when it all just sucks. Ten seconds. Charlie Brown, you can make me laugh when I wanna cry. Yes. We're so close to the end, guys. Eight is reverse crunch for more lower abs burn. Same position, hands below your bum with palms on the bed. Exercise. Lift your legs up to the sky, keeping your legs together with a slight bend in the knees. Using your lower abs strength, tilt your pelvis towards your belly button to lift your hips up off the bed. Your palms on the bed will help stabilize your body and pushing your hip up. You should be feeling the burn every time you lift your hip up off the floor. Repeat for 45 seconds. 20 seconds. Only less than 3 minutes to go, we're not slacking. We have come this far already. Get it done to make this workout worth your time. 10 seconds. Rest. Last two exercises. Ninth is our favorite ab bike. I have a love-hate relationship with it because it's never easy but it always guarantees a good burn for the abs, especially the lower belly. Exercise. Back flat on the bed, hands behind your head, lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Crunching your lower abs, bring your left knee in towards your chest and at the same time straighten your right leg out. Turn your upper body to the left so that your right elbow is touching the left knee. Make sure your whole torso is moving and not just your elbow so you're working the abs. Alternate size for 45 seconds. It is so tempting to rest a bit on the bed, I know, but we're not going to do that. We want the results, so we gotta put in the work. You can do it, or at least try. Don't quit on me just yet. I can pick you up when you're 
yes. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Another one done. Our final exercise in this workout is leg hold. Exercise. Pretty straightforward, elbow supporting your torso up. Raise both legs together around 40 degrees off the bed. Head up and look straight at your toes. And just hold it there until the timer is up. The lower your legs are, the more challenging it is, and the more it works your lower abs. Our goal here is to finish the workout without dropping our legs even once. Make it till the end together with me. If it's burning, it's working. You can rest really soon. 10 seconds. You did amazing! That was such a good burn on the lower abs and even side abs and our legs. Good work and it's time to stretch out your abs. And as promised, here's more info about Squarespace. It's an all-in-one platform where you can create beautiful websites and online stores with award-winning designer templates. There's nothing to install, patch or upgrade ever. With 24-7 customer support, it also offers a unique domain experience that's fully transparent and simple to set up. It is used by a wide range of creatives and people, musicians, designers, artists, restaurants, and more. You can now go to squarespace.com slash emmywong to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. So that's it for today. Chat wants to go eat lunch now. I'll link our weekend vlog here as well. And I'll see you guys again next week. Uh, last one, boo-boo.